the Apple Watch Series 4. So this is actually Apple's not fourth, but Apple's fifth Apple Watch model, and it's coming out in September, in about a month's time, in mid-September, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. So I've been using an Apple Watch ever since it came out in 2015, so yeah, three years, and I've been waiting for Apple to launch one since 2012-2013, uh, when all the initial patents appeared, and yeah, I use my Apple Watch pretty much every single day. Uh, I only take it off at night, I swim with this thing in a pool in seawater. Right now I'm using a Series 2, I've had all every single Apple Watch model, uh, but this one is the one that I ended up using on a daily basis uh, overall. Uh, the Series 3 was actually a small improvement, a small improvement than the Series 2 was over the Series 0, but Series 4 is going to be a massive improvement, so the biggest one since the original Apple Watch. So yeah, here's everything you need to know in terms of the Apple Watch 2018 Apple Watch Series 4. Okay, so if you have an Apple Watch Series 0 or 1 or 2 or 3, uh, no one would be able to tell the difference between them because, well, they look pretty much identical. So literally the only design difference between them is that every new model is quite a bit thicker than the previous one. So Series 3 is considerably thicker than the original Apple Watch. And then the other design change is the fact that you actually get a red crown with the Apple Watch Series 3, the seller model. I personally think this is a really bad design choice because it limits the use of bands. But yeah, other than that, they all look identical. I mean, the only unique model would be the gold Apple Watch which was only made with the original Series 0, and then it was removed and replaced with a significantly more affordable model, the ceramic one. Uh, and this is the one that we have right now, and then with the Series 3, Apple introduced a space grey ceramic model as well. But yeah, other than that, we didn't get any design changes since 2014. That's when Apple actually introduced the original Apple Watch and then it was released a few months later in 2015. Now, a while ago, I did a video on how I would love the Series 4 to look like, this video, check it out, it's quite cool. In this video I talked about what if Apple made a circular Apple Watch. Fun fact, Apple actually has a few patents on this, so they might be doing that. I would personally pick a circular smartwatch versus a rectangular one all day, just because, you know, you get that James Bond feeling where you have a device that looks normal, but in fact it's an incredibly smart gadget. Whereas if you have a square watch, well, pretty much everyone would be able to tell that, oh, this guy has a smart watch. Um, and yeah, let me know in the comments if you would pick a regular watch for a smart watch design or a rectangular one like the Apple Watches right now. And with the Apple Watch Series 4, unfortunately we aren't going to get a complete redesign with, you know, a circular looking Apple Watch. That would be cool, but it's not happening this year. However, there is going to be a design change nonetheless. So Ming Chu Kuo reported that Apple would be actually increasing the display size to 1.57 inches uh, and 1.78 from 1.5 and 1.65 inch on, on the current models. Now, the actual body is actually set to remain the same, which actually means that the bezels would be getting quite a bit thinner. And I'm not sure how many of you know this, but the Apple Watch actually has some seriously thick bezels. Now, this is a bit hard to tell on the actual Apple Watch since it actually comes with an OLED display and most watch faces have a black interface, so they blend in perfectly with the bezels. But when you have a time-lapse watch face, for example, the bezels immediately stand out. And this is the Zone of Tech Apple Watch Series 4 concept. And this is for you to get a better idea of how the Apple Watch Series 4 would look like with those much thinner bezels. So uh, you would be able to not only see more content on the screen, but every single watch face, even the ones that have mostly black in them, they would be quite a bit larger. And then a report coming from KGS Securities, again, Ming Chi Kuo, uh, states that the 2018 Apple Watch would actually be getting around a 15% increase in battery life. Apparently this would be made possible by a full redesign of the motherboard, or sorry, logic board, how Apple likes to call it. So essentially the logic board hasn't been redesigned since the Apple Watch Series 0 back in 2014, which is a bit strange. I mean, yes, we did get a few small changes such as, you know, new chipsets each year, water resistance up to 50 meters and GPS with the Apple Watch Series 2, as well as seller support with the Apple Watch Series 3, but most of the logic board design has actually remained the same. But with the Series 4, it seems that Apple plans on redesigning the logic board from scratch instead of improving on the old design, reason why we would have that uh, that room for the 50% larger battery. And the S3, and by S3 I mean not the Samsung Galaxy S3, but a Series 3, already had some pretty good battery. I mean, with my two-year-old S2 Series 2, and by the way, I've been using this thing every single day since the day I got it, uh, so the battery is fairly used, this thing can get me through two full days of use, which is pretty good. A brand new Series 3 would get me through about three full days of use, and the Series 4 with that larger battery could possibly do four or even more. And then this larger new battery could also allow a few new features such as sleep tracking. So that would be awesome. This is something that's missing from this current generation Apple Watch. Um, and then what would be even more awesome would be an always on display. So this is something that we have on a lot of Android smartphones and even most Android Wear smartwatches do come with an always on display. 
I really don't know why Apple doesn't already have this. I mean, yes, you can tilt your wrist and it's gonna show you the time, but nothing compares to having the time on the display all the time. I mean, the iPhone 10 doesn't have an always on display either, and that one as well comes with an OLED display, just like the Apple Watch does. But then again, the Apple Watch introduced OLED display on an Apple product, haptic feedback on an Apple product with Force Touch, um, and they only brought it to the iPhones a few years later. So fingers crossed for an always on display in the Apple Watch Series 4, and then maybe this will be making it on the iPhones maybe later on this year. And then we've also had some reports that Apple plans on improving the heart rate monitor with a Series 4. Now, interesting enough, not sure how many of you know this, but did you know that all Apple Watches already have a blood glucose monitoring sensor, but it's not really enabled, it's disabled, it's been here since the Series Zero, it didn't get approved by the FDA for some reason, and there were also some reports that uh, apparently it wasn't accurate enough. The Apple Watch Series 3 is apparently going to have improved heart rate tracking, specifically for detecting some heart rate conditions. So uh, Bloomberg, for example, reported that Apple is working on developing an AKG or electrocardiogram uh, heart rate monitor for the next Apple Watch. This is, this is a huge thing, this would improve accuracy by a lot. Uh, and then a CNBC article that appeared earlier this week stated that Apple is actually bringing together a team that would work on a custom health processor, a custom health chip, uh, just like Apple has, you know, the Apple W chip inside the uh, AirPods, the Apple T processors inside the MacBooks and the iMac Pro. So it would be a chip spe specialized in one area uh, of tasks, which is, you know, in this case, it would be uh, health tracking. So essentially, it will lift a lot of background processes from the main chip and it would perform those processes itself. This would not only allow for better battery life, but also improved health tracking in general. So we're really looking forward to that. We don't really know when this thing is going to be introduced. Definitely not in the Series 4, maybe not even in the Series 5 next year. And then the AirPower charging mat would finally be released in September. So a full year after Apple has announced it. And this would be compatible with both the 2018 and newer, as well as the 2017 iPhones and the Apple Watch Series 3. And then a new report coming from Fast Company claims that Apple actually plans on using fixed buttons for the Series 4, meaning that they won't actually click anymore. And instead, Apple would be using Force Touch to simulate a button press, just like they're doing it on the MacBooks, the trackpads, or the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 8's home buttons. Now, the crown would still scroll, so you'd be able to do that, but it wouldn't be able to press anymore. And same applies to the side button. Uh, so this is actually very useful because it would seal the Apple Watch even more when it comes to water resistance, as so the water resistance would be improved, not even to mention the extra space inside that Apple would gain by, by doing this, because you don't need that extra space for a button to press. Uh, so yeah, that's also one of the reasons why the battery size would be increased. But yeah, let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about the Series 4? Do you think it's worth it? Especially when it comes to the previous models, do you think the features are a big improvement or not? Especially the design change, the small design change, finally, we're getting one. Uh, and also join the zone, this is something new, so you can press the join button next to the subscribe one, and you can support the channel, and also get some pretty cool exclusive perks, such as a live stream from me every single month uh, for the members and also some custom badges that you can use in the comments and the live chat and these actually upgrade the longer you've been a member for. So yeah, join the zone. You can also do that by clicking the first link in the description and also subscribe and hit notifications by timing on the bell so that you get notified whenever a cool new video like this one, hopefully this was cool, uh, comes out if you're not a subscriber yet. But yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I'm Daniel and this was pretty much it. Thank you for making it until the end of this video and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Sun effect, signing out. Cheers.